I uh, uh, don't have uh, any uh, comments or questions or answers for how and why uh, we didn't uh, do what we wanted tonight. Uh, I say this to our fans, uh, how much you deserve uh, us to not have uh, this ending. I certainly in no way have spent any of my time over the last three hours asking how and why. What I'm zeroed in on is the fact that uh, I thought we were in a position, everybody in this room thought we were in a position to advance this thing in the playoffs and maybe uh, get as far as our dreams uh, might take us. Uh, we didn't do it. I don't have any thoughts about the reasons why or anything to do with the coaching anything to do about the players. I want to give uh, Green Bay a lot of uh, uh, compliments and uh, credit. Uh, and uh, uh, this is uh, one of my most surprises since I've been involved in sport, period. So this is uh, uh, that degree. I know how disappointed everybody is. That's all my comment. In terms of playoff losses, where does this one rank for you? Well, I don't have, uh, uh, really, I can't reach back and look at a playoff loss, uh, uh, but this uh, uh, seems like the, uh, the, the most uh, painful uh, because uh, we all had such great expectation and we had hope for this team and uh, uh, thought that we were aligned in a great shape, in great shape, and uh, uh, it didn't happen for us, and it's as fresh on me right now as it is on anybody else. But I don't, uh, I won't get into uh, any uh, of the uh, addressing of any aspects of it, any part of it, uh, from uh, the coaching to the players to what's around the corner. Uh, uh, on a personal basis, I'm, I'm floored, and so uh, uh, not that there's any world's smallest violin for me being floored. I get that. I understand that. And uh, I know where the responsibility starts and ends. And I've got that real clear, and I know that. But that's not the point. The point is that uh, uh, I'm uh, uh, disappointed for everybody. When will you sit down with Mike and kind of talk about everything? I haven't thought about that. Your thoughts on how it's back? Again, I'm not, uh, I haven't thought about it at all. Uh, every step of the way today, I was looking uh, for the end of the game with us being able to go forward and have another game here next week. Everything I looked at today, the plays themselves were almost a blur to me. I was just thinking, how do we get to where we can have another game here next week? And so uh, I haven't given it that type of, of analysis or look-see or what have you. Uh, uh, this one's burned into our soul out here tonight, and uh, uh, Green Bay got a great win. Jerry, is there any way you can connect the dots between the 13 straight playoff appearances without making it close to the Super Bowl? Uh, as far as connecting dots to this loss, uh, only that uh, this loss prevents us from advancing, which potentially is the Super Bowl. And... Um, uh, you have to advance in order to get to a Super Bowl. Uh, the experience I had going to them taught me that. Excuse me. No, I, I don't want to rank it, but I will tell you that I'm floored. This is beyond my comprehension. Jerry, are you concerned at all that your comments last week in Washington may have been a distraction for Mike McCarthy? That what? That your comments last week in Washington may have been a distraction for Mike McCarthy? No. No, not at all. For people who, in the fans specifically who might want to have questions about the head coaching direction, whether it's Mike McCarthy or moving forward, do you find it's important to give yourself time or do you think that you'll be making a decision sooner rather than later? When I start, uh, when I think about it, which I haven't thought one second about it, uh, I know how hard, uh, uh, how much it meant to our fans to advance. Uh, what this loss to me means, again, I opened up by saying not how, why, who didn't, who didn't do what, all of that kind of thing. The only thing that was on my mind almost this entire game was not an analysis of our strategy, not an analysis of the play. It was 
do we get to play here again next week? And we can't. And that could have happened by a point or it could have happened the way it happened out there. And that's all I'm thinking about and that's all I've thought about. And uh, uh, it uh, is uh, uh, real and uh, uh, we'll, dismiss the, uh, we'll dismiss our group, our team tomorrow. That's as real as it gets. As opposed to going forward and having a shot at, the, uh, at another game here at the stadium. I didn't. I don't know that I had a motion. I was. Uh, I was looking for uh, uh, ways to uh, uh, hopefully um, answer uh, their uh, our inability to move against their uh, defense. How closely we were guarded and how open they were. So all of that was going through my mind. But generally. Uh, Frankly, uh, I didn't think that uh, we would uh, leave this place without advancing today. Uh, as late as as late as uh, into the fourth quarter. We've seen in the past with Jason Garrett in particular. You gave yourself a little time on that one. Was that a good thing or a bad thing when you look back on that? And did you learn anything from that experience? Well, I don't know about that, but I know that we haven't gotten a Super Bowl. So uh, there at that time or now, as it turns out, so. Uh, uh, whatever I was doing back in those years uh, didn't work, so we'll uh, look at it from that perspective. Your, your, deep, your, your, offense, forward, your <laughs> offense gave up 14 points, but how surprised were you that you gave up a, a historical 48 points to the Packers in this game? Didn't they see that coming at all. Uh, again, hadn't, uh, wouldn't have analyzed it uh, any more than you have, but the point is that uh, uh, didn't expect that. You actually could have told me that if we had 32 points scored, but we all know how we got them and when we got them. But if you'd told me we'd score 32, I thought we'd have won it. So a lot of lot of things that to reflect on, but I haven't done that at all, and I haven't reflected at all on uh, anything about uh, uh, coaching or uh, any of that. And uh, we just uh, uh, are amazed that uh, we're sitting here uh, uh, without another game this coming weekend. I am. With the coaching process and how that plays out, given given the fact that some teams have already been going, you know, going through interviews with other candidates, can you just dis discuss being in that scenario? Yeah, that's no issue. That's no issue at, at all, and uh, uh, at all, uh, the fact that coaches have interviewed, not interviewed, uh, and not being tried, but uh, uh, there's. Uh, what, 30-something coaches on 32 teams, so there's a 1,000 coaches out here that are uh, uh, some way or the other a part of, uh, and that's just the ones in the league, not the 10,000 that are out of the league. So there's a lot of coaches. So you don't feel any pressure to get in, in the mix? What? You don't feel any pressure to get in, in the mix if you decide to move on? To do what? Do you feel any pressure, given that there are some really interesting coaches that are available right now, to get in the mix of the interview process if you decide to move forward from Miami? No, I, I'm, I'm um, uh, uh, the only thing I'm feeling right now is the fact that um, the disappointment that we're not going forward this week. And I haven't thought about that, but I, I uh, know how to do that and, and handle all of those. And those aren't high pressure situations, coaches. Jerry, when you do make off season decisions, how much is weighed on today versus? Oh, I give a lot uh, to uh, uh, today. I'll give a lot to uh, uh, everything we've done. Uh, I'll, I'll wait a lot of ways. How much does Dax play today weigh into your off-season decision about a contract for him? For who? For Dax. Preston. Now, again, we haven't. Uh, 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 I really haven't thought about this, but uh, at all, and so I won't comment on it since I haven't thought about. It. Okay. My complete thought uh, for the last several weeks have totally been about uh, anticipating and planning on advancing from this game to another game here at the stadium since we found out that we were going to have this home field. And uh, so I'm, I'm going back to the complete bottom of my thought process to think about anything other than uh, next week's game here. After seeing this result, do you still feel like this team's close? Again, I haven't thought about anything. And uh, the main thing is I sure thought it was close uh, coming in. Jerry, what will be your process the next few days in analyzing what you need to do? I, I don't. That, uh, 
you know, every day I've got a lot of things that uh, you do, and so I'm not for sure I know process from just uh, what you do every day in terms of how that how that works. But uh, uh, we certainly are, are have a background in uh, what happens after you lose a playoff game. We have too much experience with that. But I've, I do have a lot of experience this day and time, whether you lose or win. You do have uh, fluctuations in your uh, staff and fluctuations in your roster. 